Hello curious coders, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do something different, something you, your friends and family can benefit from. This is a really simple Python application. Today we're gonna be building a random password generator. And why unique strong passwords matter? Well, if you use the same credentials for all your online stuff, say social networks, online banking, emails, you're compromising yourself big time. From time to time, we hear a new company has been hacked and with that, users' data. If you're one of those who reuse the same password everywhere, you can be in a really bad spot. Instead, if you use different passwords but they are not strong enough, hackers can still crack your password using brute force. Ask yourself, what are the assets you want to protect? What can't you afford to lose? What might impact your reputation? That's why I would highly recommend using password managers to generate strong, unique passwords and keep them stored in one place so you never have to reuse the same password twice. In my case, I'm using KeePass and this is how it looks like. I can create a new entry, type in some details and eventually I can set or generate a new random password. We can play with the length of the password as well as the complexity of it. Do we just want to use uppercase or lowercase letters? Do we want to include numbers and special characters as well? Well, you can do that. Then there's the debate in using something that you can remember versus using something random. One thing is clear, the longer the password, the longer it takes for a hacker to crack it. Anyways, today we're gonna be writing a simple Python script that will generate random passwords for you. Let's get into it. First, we will need to import random and string. These will be the two libraries we're gonna be using for this app. Then let's define chars and this will be the pool of characters we'll use to generate passwords from. We're gonna use string dot, in here there's ASCII lowercase, uppercase or letters, which is both. Then string dot digits for numbers from zero to nine. And finally string dot punctuation for a bunch of symbols. Let's print it out. Great. So now we want to choose a random number of characters from this pool. To just select one, we'll use random.choice chars, which will pick up one at random. If we want to pick up multiple characters, then we need to concatenate them with double quotes, dot join, random choice chars for every char in range. And here we need to set the length of the password. So we'll define length equals 10 and then pass in this variable. Let's print out the result. Nice. Okay, so that was it for today. Nah, just kidding. Okay, let's do something different now. We could wrap it up here, but I want to add a couple of options to this script. First, I want to pass in the length of the password via inline argument. Then, I want to pass the number of passwords I want to generate at once without calling the same script multiple times. And finally, since we don't always want to use symbols in our passwords, I'm gonna leave that as a choice to the end user. Okay, let's code that. First, let me import argparse and then put some structure into the script. I will create a new function called parse arguments. And in here, I'm gonna declare parser equals argparse argument parser. Then we'll add the first argument, length or L for short. I'm expecting a number, an integer, and we'll store the value under length. And this will be a required argument. Then we'll add a second argument number or n for short, also type integer, and destination is gonna be number. Finally, we'll add a third argument called symbols or s for short, and we'll store it as use symbols. This will be a boolean, so I'm also define action equals store true. This will initialize this argument as false by default if we don't pass it via inline argument. Then we'll get args with parser.parseArcs function. And one thing I need to add here is that if we don't pass in the number of passwords to generate, I want the script to generate just one. So if not args.number, then args number equals one. Finally, let's return args variable. Let me also add the main block. So if name equals equals main args equal parse arguments, and then we'll print out args. Let's test it out. Okay, it broke, that was expected. It says argument length is not required. 
So let me open up the terminal instead and type in python password generator.py length 10. So here is the input values, length equals 10, number equals 1, and use symbols equals false. If I now use length 10, number 5, n, s, this is what we get. Cool. Let's now use these values in our main script. So instead of printing the namespace, we'll say for n in range arguments number, let's print random password generator, arguments length, and arguments use symbols. And now we just need to code this function. So let's define random password generator function with length and use symbols arguments. We'll reuse the previous code. And in here, we're gonna use the input length instead of this one we've just declared. Now, for the symbols, I'll say, if use symbols is true, then chars equals all these characters, Otherwise, chars equals just letters and digits. Finally, let's return the password. Okay, let's execute the code. Let's try this. And voila, job done. There's just one thing we could improve here. So all of these had at least one symbol, right? But there's a chance that this function doesn't pick any symbols. We see this behavior if we set the password length too small. Check it out. Let's change to length 3 and generate a few. See, this one right here doesn't include any symbols. So let's fix that. A quick way to enforce this is by leveraging the difference Python sets function. Let's open up a Python console for a sec. Let me import string, define password as 123 ABC, and now do set password.difference string punctuation. So the difference between two sets in Python is equal to the difference between the number of elements in those two sets. So in this case, we get one, two, three and ABC, because all of them are different from the string.punctuation characters. If now I add a couple of symbols, we get the same result. So the only different characters are the non-symbol characters. So a way to look at it is if the length of the source password is equal to the length of the set, the punctuation, then that means there's no symbols on that password. So we can use that information and code. If symbols is true, then while the length of the password equals the length of this function, so set password dot difference string punctuation, then we'll generate another password. And we'll keep doing this until the condition is met. Now let's go back to the terminal and try it one more time. See, now all of them have at least one symbol. Let's now increase the length for strong passwords. Now the probability of getting symbols is much higher, but we know for sure that the condition will be always fulfilled. Okay guys, that was it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this simple Python application and learned something on the way. I personally take security very seriously, so if you guys are interested in security, let me know in the comments section below. As always, you'll find good resources on how to start with Python in the description of this video. If you want to support me and the channel, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're a new visitor, and thanks for staying till the end. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.